So you are a living proof of a powerful woman. <laughs> and in this movie, you directed, you acted, and you wrote the script. Yes. So how important is it for you to send out the message that women can do anything, especially to the younger generation? I, I, look, I really hope that I do inspire other filmmakers. Um, I hope that I inspire my peers. I hope I inspire women, uh, all generations, right? Mm -hmm. And and I hope I, more importantly, inspire the executives at the studios to hire more women to trust us with this kind of material and with action and humor and all of those things. Um, that that's you know that definitely was one of my goals, and it's it's one of the pressures that I feel in making the movie. I'm sure after the success of this movie, it definitely will be. <laughs> I, mean, <laughs> I hope it's successful. <laughs> yeah, I watched it and I absolutely loved it, and went out feeling like empowered. And I wanted to call my friends. I think Yay. what I loved was that it wasn't just about women empowerment, also about women working together. That's it. Which yeah. was uh, really nice to see. Yeah, I wanted to build on the themes of sort of camaraderie and sisterhood and sorority that yeah. I felt worked so well in the Pitch Perfect movies and. Um, and bring that into an action movie. And, you know, the, the DNA of Charlie's Angels, this already existed, which was so fun. I didn't have to, like, make it up out of whole cloth. There was already a, a, real, a real sense of history that I could pull from, too, which I also love. I love the feeling in the movie that we are standing on the shoulders of the women that came before us. You know, I like to say it was not my idea to turn Charlie's Angels into a movie. It was Drew Barrymore's <laughs> idea. And I, I'm just, like, building on what she That was going to be actually another question. Like, why did you think of creating a reboot for the movie instead of just creating, like, a whole new movie? Um, I felt it was really important for the fans to honor the things that came before. And I, I also felt like... We, I could play with people's expectations if I made sure to lay in what Charlie's Angels has always been. Because this is a moment of transition for Charlie's Angels as it's a moment for women around the world. Yeah. Um, you know, I like to say that Charlie's Angels is, is under construction. That is why their headquarters is in a construction site, <laughs> right? And it's hiding in plain sight. But they are, they are, um, they're in the midst of a turmoil, of a change. I mean, I'm from the generation of Charlie's Angels when it was really the you know, what the first kind of movie that really showed women, you know, powerful, strong women together. So yeah. it's something that really stuck with me. So seeing this again is uh, really nice. Yeah. And how? Uh, why did you choose uh, Kristen, Ella, and Naomi to be like the perfect angels? For well, Kristen, Kristen, I wouldn't have made the movie without. She is just the epitome of modern women. She lives authentically. You can't put her in a box. She's one of the greatest actresses of any generation. She has already proven that she can do action movies, so I knew she had the discipline to do it. She, I also knew that she would surprise people with how funny she was yeah. going to be in the <laughs> film. And then, you know, Ella, it was like, I mean, she was like, you know, finding Sasquatch on a mountain, like, <laughs> uh, just a diamond in the rough that I feel like is Beautiful, a total discovery for the audience, you know, and for people. And then Naomi, I thought about that character as the as Meg Ryan in a rom-com because I really felt like that character is actually living in a romantic comedy she's falling in yeah. love with the angels and falling in love with her like new life and it's kind of like silly and you know delightful and charming and so um, that's Naomi yeah.